In this video, you are going to learn how to import email subscribers into your ConvertKit account. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and there are actually three ways to bring email subscribers into your ConvertKit account. One of which we're not going to cover in this video, and that's actually moving them from one provider into ConvertKit. But the other two, in fact, both adding a single email subscriber and a list of email subscribers, otherwise known as importing a CSV, we're going to dive in and cover in this video. Both are very simple and follow a very similar procedure to do so. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to do this. The first thing that you need to do in any import is you have to add them to either a form or a tag. And I like to add them to a tag because I look at forms as entry points that your subscribers come into uh, on their own. So let's just create an import tag. Okay, so now that we have that tag, let's go ahead and add a single subscriber. We click on the add subscriber button and add single subscriber. So let's just add in John. And let's just say John Doe at gmail.com and then find the import tag and scroll down to the bottom and click on save. And you'll see he's John Doe was added almost instantaneously, very quick. So let's go ahead and add in our list of new subscribers and we're going to import a CSV file. Now, a CSV file is nothing more than basically a, an Excel sheet or a Google sheet in columns. And the, the one that I have here is a sample one. It has an email address column. And in this sample data, I have first name, last name, and member status. Here's the thing with the import is that it's more interesting because you can actually bring along other data like this that you can then attach it to the subscriber record inside of your ConvertKit account, which is actually pretty powerful if you want to update a list of subscribers with things like how many people came and attended your webinar. Well, instead of tracking that inside of ConvertKit in some way, you might just get an export list, a CSV from your webinar platform, and then you could just upload it and tag or set a custom field to those that attended. So let's go ahead and add this in. So I click on add subscribers. I click on import a CSV and I'm going to attach it to that import. And then I'm going to drag over this, the list that I have. And you'll see this open up and this is how we're going to map that data to fields, custom fields inside of ConvertKit. So this is what is in my CSV file, the header, and then I'm just going to select what it maps to inside of ConvertKit. So first name, last name, right? So I don't have a last name field, so I can actually create one. And then I'm going to look for customer stage, right? So to find out if they're active, canceled, and so on and so forth. So then once you click import, all of this information goes in, and they will actually send you an email once it's done. And depending on the size of the list that you have, it doesn't really take all that long for the import to happen. All right. So again, with the import for the CSV is that any data that you select in that mapping will actually overwrite whatever the fields are inside of, inside of ConvertKit. So you want to be mindful of that, but it does give you that power to then mass update a lot of subscribers at once just by doing that. If this was helpful, smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that red button down below and click that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a video drops. And remember, when you treat your email lists like humans, amazing transformations happen.